And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft of Yours Truly Arcane. We are here in beta again today. Um, 1.12 has officially launched, which brings all that concrete powder and stuff to the game. And I'm thinking we might take a step back from what I was planning on doing today, and I want to test something else out. But for right now, I'm just bringing myself up a lot of goodies from down here below. You know, I've been mining for, uh, well, quite some time. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in here and take a... I don't know how that happened. <laughs> let's just swing inside here and take a nap. Here we go. That ought to turn away the night time, you know, just so we can see what we're doing outside. Um, one thing you're going to notice right off the bat is I kind of, it's, I didn't want to grow a forest, for, I did not want to grow a forest of these trees, but we needed the wood for this pretty much, and some of the trees are still growing. <laughs> I didn't want to grow a forest of them, but we need the wood, so I kind of figured, you know what, let's just mark out where the path is going to be for this. And how what I want to do is I kind of want this path to uh, work its way out down there to where our farm is going to be. This path will work its way over there to where the mine is. And just kind of work things around, you know. But as I was saying, there's something else I actually want to do. But first things first is... Let's get some a lot of this cobblestone put away. Here we goes. Um, now what we're gonna do first off is we're gonna go. We're gonna head over and uh, we're gonna head over this direction. Okay, where I said we were probably gonna build our farm. And how this is going to work? Like I said, we're gonna have a path. It'll come down here. It'll wind. It'll come down around this way a little bit. Maybe we'll just make the path come in here and we could fill this in with dirt. And we'll have it come down here. So, but I want to do it down here is, let me see here. That's going to be center. Okay, so we're going to hit one right here. Two, three, four, and five. Well, wasn't expecting that block right there, but that's okay. We'll need it. And... Two, three. I know this isn't going to be an exact circle. Okay, I know this isn't. And some of you guys are already probably thinking that. Saying, hey, dude, that's not a circle. And yeah, I know. But just bear with me on this. So, let's see here. For a circle, yeah, I guess we can come out. No, just. Mm, Alright, so we'll have that there. That'll be the one, two, the one, two, three. And then we can come in here and we'll just cut in and get our five. So we're just pretty much going to do one of these. Uh, two, three, four. Oh, I thought I got that five in. And this is pretty much just going to be where our farm is. Alright, all this dirt, we can pretty much take all this and we'll use it to fill this in right here. So let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to dig this thing out, get the circle done, and I'll be right back with you. And welcome back everybody. Um, I just came back, I just crafted myself up a uh, diamond shovel, which is... So, say this is your six right here, all right, and that you do just do this in a crafting table. You really don't need all this other stuff. So if we just take all this stuff, move it out of the way, and say this is your three by three crafting grid. Here's two sticks and a diamond. That's how you make your uh, stuff. That's how you make your uh, diamond shovel. Um, I think we made pickaxes before on cameras. <laughs> I really don't have to do that. Um, anyways, down here. You can see I've cleared this out. Now you're probably thinking, that looks like crap. Well, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I actually wanted to do with our uh, farm over here, you know, just to kind of make it look nice, is I want to accent it 
coming around like so. All right, so we'll have is let's grab one of these. Um, we'll accent it, put one of these right here. Um, we'll grab a slab. We can put a slabby slab right there, and that might look okay. And what what we'll put behind it is we'll add one more log like right here. So let's go ahead and let's just see we're gonna do this. All right. And we'll put another one right here. Now you're going to take this. We're going to put our slab right here. And back here on the back side. You know, just to keep the animals out. What we can do is we could add fence posts on top of that. Okay. So that's kind of the idea for this. Is I want to... Uh, I thought I got my fence post down here. Oh well. You know what? Give me the logs. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to, uh, kind of do this with you guys here on camera. You know, give you an idea, show you what we're going to be doing, which means we really don't need this one right here, but it's there just for aesthetics, okay? So, we're, we're going to need something for our logs to come up and go across, you know, something for them to attach to, and... Well, how do I put that? I'm trying to explain this in a way that just doesn't sound weird. Um, so, our fence post will come up to here. And then we could add fence posts on top of this. And as it comes around, you'll see we'll have our slabs right here. So, if we put our slabs up on top of that. So, let's come across this right here. We'll put a slabby slab here, slabby slab there, put this here, I think that's where that belongs, yeah, and now, that'll be a backside block, and that'll just turn it into something else, alright, so let's go ahead, let's put, bring this up, and this will be this, this one back here will come up by one, and again, we could just come right around the outside of this thing and just kind of follow the uh, contours of it which means that one will go up and so on and so forth so yeah that's how I kind of want to do this you know just kind of accent it up a little bit and for the inside <coughs> We're just going to come down drop inside here. So this gives you a general idea as to what it's going to look like. You know, on the back side of it. It kind of makes it look like it's a retaining wall at the same time. And you don't have to worry about animals coming in here. But what we need to do right now is we need to locate the center of this thing. So we're going to come right across to... Alright, that's one block. That's two block. This will be the center. Alright, cool. So right here in the center is where our first source of water is going to go. We're going to go ahead and just pull these things up. And we're going to take this. We're going to do this. Now water flows X amount of blocks, right? Well, it only, it only does four. So what we need here is we need to craft ourselves up a hoe. So let's do our first hoe here on camera and I can show you guys how we get our grass seeds Look at that time to farm Woo Okay, so you're probably wondering all right this goes up just travels four one two three four and then over here one two three four And if we count out one two three four then we can put a water source right here. And let's do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four. We can put a water source right there. And what that will do is that'll saturate every single block inside of here. And we'll just repeat this going the whole way around. Now, if there's one thing we need to keep in mind whenever we're doing this, is that we just can't walk right across the top of this stuff, okay? And how we get grass seeds is like this. And there you go. One popped out. 
So we could just run right across this and just let it do its thing and we'll just do that. <laughs> and that will give us our grass seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves up a couple more hoes. And I know we should probably do a diamond one. It's probably best, but nah, who wants to waste the diamonds? I know I don't. But we also need to get these animals out of here. So, how are we going to deal with that? Alright. Well, we're going to need an entrance. Alright. You know how we're going to be making that path coming down here, right? So, let's start this entrance. Maybe. Hmm. Alright. So, we're going to have a bracing wall right there. A bracer wall right there. Which means we can come through here. And add a staircase. Right here, maybe. And, yeah. So, you put ourselves a slabby slab right there. And we'll have fences running along the side of that. Um, to make that look a little bit better. You know, give you a general idea, as I was saying is we can now we can come across like this and we could fill this part in um grab ourselves a few more pieces of this there you go now the grass can come down it can grow on it we have ourselves a way down and we need a way in so how are we going to do that well, if we got this for an accent and that for an accent well essentially we won't have to worry too much about that so let's go ahead and let's place this here. We'll place that there. And a doorway. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could just add a doorway maybe coming right across here. Let's go take ourselves a map before we get slaughtered by mobs. And we could grab some fence posts while we're in here too. Uh, if there's one thing you guys are noticing is that purple ribbon, okay? Well, I got epilepsy, and there's a lot of other people out there in the world that have it too, okay? So, I decided I'm going to bring my, uh, a while ago I was doing a uh, live stream thing called Minecraft for Neurology, okay? Well, I want to kind of bring that in here. Let's see that. See, you guys can read that a little bit better now. Support epilepsy awareness. All right. Now, I'm going to put a donation link down in the uh, description. I will not be able to tell how much you guys donate or if you donate at all. That is really none of my concern or business for that matter. All right. So, let's see here. Wood, wood, wood fences. Where do I have them all? Alright, so we got 27 fences, and we could probably use more. Stone, wood's right here in the middle. There you go. And we'll just go ahead and do one of those. Alright. So, let's craft ourselves up a lot more fences. There you go, that's one stack. And that's two stacks. All right. What I want to do is end up with at least 32. So what we need to do is we need a half a stack more of this. And this should give us a full stack. There you go. Now we're going to take our fences, do one of these, do one of them. And this right here should give us a full stack of fences, which will work good for us. Now, do I have any more of that dark oak? Uh, yeah, we got some, not dark oak, but uh, some more of that. Well, we got trees all around us here. If we need some more, we could swing by and just kind of pick some of them up now as I was saying here's here would be our fences they would come right across the top 
okay? And what these will do is it'll prevent mobs from get being able to get in. Sure, they can jump around all they want, but they can't get in here because the fence post and beta takes up the entire block. So you don't have to worry about putting your uh, stuff in here as we were doing. So let's see here. We can go ahead. We can place this right here. Can a mob get across it? Yes, it can. So we're going to go ahead and pull this block out right there. All right. And this is how we're going to since we found that out now what we want to do is we want to make ourselves an entrance so we're going to do one two one two three three let's see here four four and i think this is where our slabs will go because we're counting two spaces for the door so let's go ahead and pull this out pull this out um give me these no this right here there he goes all right i know this isn't the most aesthetically looking pleasing thing in the world <laughs> i know it isn't i can look at it and tell you that myself so here we go now we got this part right here now we're just going to uh, repeat this over here like so you know, just kind of make it look a little bit uh, nice. Now, we can place these things right here. It really doesn't do much. Not much for the eye, at least. But what we can do is we can put these right here on the side. And maybe not so. I don't know. I was hoping we can incorporate these in here a little bit. But uh, how these are going to work is we're going to take them and sort of well i didn't want that block to end up right there we're gonna go around this thing like so with stone slabs and kind of just like fill it in and because that is the entrance right there um i guess we could do that right there so now we can come across we can add an extra one right here maybe um yeah do something like so But we don't we don't need this sticking out the whole time like that. All right. Well, we what we're gonna do is we're gonna fence most of this in, so we don't have to worry about all that too much. Um, I mean, you can see this is where the cobblestone's at. Not too much to worry about there. The entirety of it is pretty much going to be blocked in already, and we need some doors. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves up two doors. Now this isn't really going to do anything off the top of your, off the bat, okay? And doors don't stack, so yeah, <laughs> that's a <the> thing. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring you, I wanted to show you guys this. This is going to be a neat little farm for us. It's going to be like having a retaining wall. And we could use some excess dirt, maybe, just to push it back some, make it look neat. Um, the reason we're putting these things right here is, let's see here. Um, let's, one more. There we go. Now we'll pull ourselves through. And you can see this is kind of just floating there. It ain't doing much. So what I want to do is let's take our fences. And they don't stack. And you can't put torches on them either. Um, we can go ahead. We can place this right here. Not too pro much of a problem. Um, let's get these dirt. We're going to put dirt right here. And dirt right here. And now. We can put fences on them. Like so. Now it does look a, bit, a little bit derpy. Mind you. <laughs> it does look a little bit derpy. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's go ahead, let's place ourselves a torchy torch, maybe right here on the side, and another one over here. But instead of doing that, let's work out something different. Okay, so we got this little thing right here on the side, right? Not being used. And I want to use that, like so. Now, the question of it is, is can I get mobs get in here? Yes, they can. 
Hmm. I don't know. I was kind of hoping we could do something right there. Can mobs still get in here? Yeah. Alright, so that fence needs to go up some. So, let's just go ahead and break that. And we're going to have to put an extra one of these in there. There we go. Now, we should be able to put these things in here. And nothing can get across. So, there we go. And let's do the same thing right here. Just kind of knock that out. And that'll give us our entrance to come in here. Now, a path is going to be need to dug out. Yeah, we're going to need to dig ourselves a path going all the way over there. Um, half slabs. If we wanted to add a half slab in here, okay? Um, there's a little trick I've seen with 1.12. I know I said I'd take us over there. I promise I will. As a matter of fact, let's go do that right now. Um, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, welcome to the 1.12. Still, we got a lot of chunk problems with the game, but it is a little bit smoother than what it used to be. First thing I want to do is I want to grab ourselves a couple of boats. Um, let's just empty our inventory out. We got all kinds of crap in here. Um, here we go, here we go. And we got ourselves a whole bunch of black concrete. Please tell me, yes, we do. All right. So, a little thing that I found out. Well, I can't say that I found out, but I've seen some other people were doing. Alright, is if we wanted to make, say, a uh, halfy slab, okay? We'll take that put it right there, alright? Now, we're going to drop this, drop it right there. Um, maybe that's not the way. Let's break this. Alright, so ordinarily... We have blocks that come up and just drop like this, okay? And we have to climb these things normal. So what I want to do is kind of block ourselves in here. Let's grab some blocks. I noticed this was a thing in 1.12, so there, there we go. Let's just use some stone. All right. Now, if we place a single boat in here, you can't do that. Can you put it in sideways? No. So, what you essentially need is you need a two space. Alright? So, what we're going to do is this. Then we're going to... Let me see here. Come on. Place. Place. Alright, now that goes in there sideways. Now, there isn't too much you can do about this. You can't move it. You could use pistons to push this thing forward. And we're going to take our, not our stone. We're going to take this right here. Well, let's just use, no, that's not cobble. I mean, that's not gravel. Alright, and now what this does is it gives you a, uh, it gives you this little falling effect, okay? Um, it gives you this little fall on effect where boats act pretty much give you a half slab, alright? Now, I can't remember how you do this. I think we actually need pistons for it. But, uh, this is something I think we want to, uh, do in, in the, uh, other thing. There we go. And now we can scoop all that up. <laughs> I think we need pistons to push them in. And this is, I haven't done anything with this world. I really haven't even touched it. Not in a while. I came online. I gave myself a screenshot. Because I want to know if anybody can... Well, this is actually loading a lot smooth. We might bring this LP back. This is move. This is nice and smooth. Yeah, this is nice and smooth. Well, I want a way to automate this farm, okay? Um, not sure how we could do that, and I know we could shove a villager in there. Yeah, not problem.
No problem at all. But what I want to do is I want to figure out a way to take all of this wheat and say we build, say we turn all of this over here, all of it, into one big wheat field. All right. I want to be able to push a button somewhere and I mean, let's just let's see here. Just grab this. All right. And say this is a random button, like you come across a bridge from over there, and there's a button just chilling over here. So let's just come over here. Say we put our bridge over here, we come across, you know, this is where our fallen tree will be, which would come across and bada bing, like I was saying one time before. Um, we come across a bridge, we say, oh, okay, let's harvest this entire field. Bing, and you watch the entire field, all of it, you know, like 700,000 blocks, just lift up into the air, drop back down, and all of the wheat is automatically harvested, and all you have to do is just walk right across and pick it all up, <laughs> and then you just replant, and I know it sounds a bit insane, definitely it sounds insane, but it's something that I would love to do, I mean, it's a redstone build. <laughs> um so let's head back over to let's head back on over to our other world and i'll meet you guys there okay and welcome back to our uh beta world and yeah it does sound like a crazy idea but i'm definitely interested in checking that out okay so instead of having stairs right here we push it back by two and then by another two and then we can probably add a better entrance way to come into here and as far as like an entrance let's say we want to uh bring our path along here okay you can see we have it right there all right we build ourselves a little bit of a forest all right now we have ourselves a path you can see that path block is right here so our uh, path will come along like so all right so let's you know let's just dig some of this out and show you guys what i want to do i want to keep it kind of random um dirt 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 okay So, oh my goodness, seriously, we just popped into this world. I wish I could do commands, anything, but you can't. <sighs> just great. All right, I'll be back. All right, cool. Had ourselves a little bit of a nap. <laughs> and let's head back out here. All right, so this, say this is our path, all right? and we just broke a port piece of our path so we would just want to kind of follow the uh, contour of this we'll come in three here come in two there um we have this right here you know just kind of randomize it because we're going to fill it with gravel anyways gravel some dirt a little bit of mixture here and there so we break that block right here let's come in like three more here there we go and now right here you can start to see where our path uh does one of these for a turn okay and it just comes right across now let's see here now that we did that right there we want to uh come across here and we want to kind of dig down maybe uh one right here there you go and this will kind of be like our path for like dropping down so what we want to kind of do is we want to see if this boat trick will work over here as well. So let me come up here across these edges and we'll knock these out.
the path really doesn't have to be this big over here. Um, just there you go. And it doesn't have to be that big over here either. So yeah, just kind of drop it in. And we're going to give it a reason to uh, drop also. So, yeah, let's do one of these. Now, let's go get some gravel and some boats and see what we can do here. Like this block right here. Let's go ahead. Let's knock that out. Let's first try that over here. Okay. Um, wood, wood, wood. No wood, stone, gravel right here. All right, cool. We got some gravel. Not bad. And we could probably mix some cobblestone in with it. So we grab ourselves a stack of that. Uh, maybe we want to mix some stone in with it also. Uh, stone right here. There we go. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to move a lot of this stuff. Just get out of the way. Just get out of the way. Here we goes. So we're going to randomize like these three things right here into being our uh, stuff. All right. Now, instead of using stone slabs, we want to try boats. We got some wood on us. So let's go ahead, come over here and craft ourselves up a couple of boats. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. There you go. And we're just going to Uno. Um, what the heck happened there? Alright. Now, let's hop outside here. And I want to try this. Like, alright. Alright. This is not the perfect location for this. Because we already have this, like, planned out. So... All right, um, right here is what I'm interested in, pretty much. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can put a boat in here. Yes, we can. Put another boat in there. And I broke it. All right, how do I get out of this thing? Okay, we're good. All right, now let's see if we can do this. <laughs> no, it won't work. <laughs> Dancing gravel. <laughs> well, if you want your pathways to ever uh, bounce around for you, we could do that. We. <laughs> but as far as getting back up, it uh, probably not going to work. Um, let's go ahead. Let's. Knock that out, and we can probably just bust this thing up right here. Um, bust that one up. There we go. All right, so I was hoping for a different way where we could do that, but let's try it with fence posts. All right, so let's get some fence posts in here. That was funny. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to place our gravel right here. And we need something for it to uh, drop onto. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. And no. Fence posts won't work. Well, dang it. So here's a challenge for you guys. Alright. I want you to see if you can figure out how we can do this without... I mean... See if we can figure out some gravel half slabs. That was actually kind of funny with the boats. <laughs> so I guess what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to end up mixing some stuff up with it. We could use some cobblestone half slabs and cobblestone stairs to work with the path. But as far as everything melding together, um, I don't know. I mean, just melt it together, bring it in, and you just kind of drop some of this in here, make it all random. Uh, maybe we want to put some here. Um, bring us along the path. Uh, maybe we want to put another one here. 
Let's see our gravel looks like. Alright, uh, we got five here, so let's see what we can do here. Um, bring one plate. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, some cobblestone? Maybe? And maybe mix a piece of cobble over here. There you go, and just kind of randomize it, you know, give it different shapes. Maybe we want to put one here, um, do a little bit here, you know, just kind of mess up the path a little bit. Now let's grab that gravel, and let's see what this pathway looks like. Maybe add a piece of cobble in here, and I want, I'm thinking we could add a piece of cobble in right here and right here to, uh, you know, kind of blend it up a little bit more. There you go. Uh, maybe we want to put a piece of cobble right here. So there we go. And let's add a little bit more gravel in there, or do we want to add stone? Let's add the cobble in right there. All right, and so this will kind of like be our pathway, all right? And I can just come right across it and just fill it in. Maybe add a little bit of extra cobble in here and there. Just kind of mess it up. And yeah, so this can kind of be our pathway for going down towards our... Uh, for going down towards this. Uh, it's not exactly the best in the world. You know, it's kind of weird, kind of funky. But it'll work. I think it'll work. I don't know. What, give me guys your feedback down in the comments. I'm going to end this video out for today. I'm going to do a little bit more work on this pathway to come down towards this right here. I'll add the retaining wall in. And next episode when we come inside of here, um, I should have this thing planted. And hopefully fully ready for harvest. Um, let's drop down in here real quick. And I'm thinking what we can do is once the retaining wall is in place, next episode, we could add a uh, storage room for it, okay? A place to put all the wheat. We could just kind of dig inside of this and build a storage room for the wheat and all the seeds and all the good stuff and things. Or we could add it down over this side right here, all right? Add a storage silo over here. It won't be circular. I can tell you that much. I know I'm just kind of messing with the circles this season. But, yeah. That's kind of like what I want to do. So, I'm going to end this episode out here for today. Let's go up here, take ourselves a little bit of a nap to end the episode. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Later.